Hi guys, I'm Kiri. Welcome to another episode of Kiri's Garage. And today's car is Mazda RX-4. This car is kind of predecessor to the very famous and well-known Mazda RX-7. The right predecessor of RX-7 is RX-3, but the RX-4 coupe version for some people also is considered a predecessor to RX-7. RX-7 was presented for the first time in 1978 and straight became very popular. Then two more generations were introduced and the production ended in 2002, after that was replaced by the four-door coupe version Mazda RX-8. They were absolutely legendary cars with very cool sporty design. Very unique and compared with other cars, very lightweight with incredible performance. And on the end, cheap. Very small capacity engines, 1.1 or 1.3 liters, but on the same time very powerful. How that's happened? Well, the most unique factor was the engine. Here the engine was rotary, or well known as a Wankel as well because it was created many years back in 1929, almost 100 years ago, from a German engineer, Felix Wankel. All Mazda models with the letters RX are fitted with the same rotary engine. This engine also is combustion engine, but doesn't have pistons and cylinders like the normal most popular combustion engine. They are rotor or rotors, which are rotating, so from there is the name rotary engine. Mazda RX-7 was very exotic, cheap sports car back in late 1970s and 80s. As we said, they are extremely popular today and everyone knows about them. But not many people talking about the car in front of us. The Mazda RX-4. In my opinion, maybe the RX-4 is not that popular and well known in Europe and America because still had this very Japanese 70s design and wasn't well accepted in the two continents. But everything changed with the RX-7. This was one of the best ever designs and wasn't anymore only for the Japan market, but was a world designed class car. This is for me the main reason why this car became very popular all over the world. But this doesn't mean RX-4 was bad design or not good enough. I think even today these Japanese cars from 70s are very cool and beautiful and many car collectors looking to find and buy some nice examples. Mazda RX-4 was designed in Japan, it's in-house design. They are right-hand drive and left-hand drive cars, depending from the market. The car was for sale in Japan, Australia, UK, USA and some other countries. The RX-4 coupe version features the very famous 13B rotary 1K engine. Was in production from 1973, where it was unveiled at the Japanese Motor Show. And the production ran over 5 years, seizing in 1978. Actually, very early cars were fitted with the old Wankel 12A rotary engine, but few months later was replaced by the, as we said just before, the very famous 13B engine. It's a two rotor engine with 1.3 liter capacity, so each rotor 650cc and producing 85 kilowatts or 116 horsepower, depending from the market, of course, for some market was less like the American, but for some markets even more up to 93 kilowatts or 127 horsepower, which was more than enough to reach the maximum speed of 195 kilometers per hour or approximately 120 miles per hour. And imagine this is mid 1970s, naturally aspirated car with capacity just 1.3 liters. The acceleration from 0 to 62 miles per hour or 100 kilometers per hour was just over 11 seconds. Again, for mid 1970s, with 1.3 liter naturally aspirated engine, this was absolutely phenomenal performance. This particular car is a coupe version, but there were four door versions as well and a state. But I think this coupe is one of the most beautiful Japanese 70s coupe. Front longitudinal mounted engine, the car is rear wheel drive only and equipped with 4 speed or 5 speed manual gearbox. Was an option for automatic transmission, but I think, I'm not sure of course, was only available for the 4 door version. Because these cars are all about the engine, the design as well, but mostly the engine, I want to say something about how the president of Mazda decided to use 
a rotary engine, and this was the only brand in the world to believe in these engines and to produce consistently for many years cars with 1K engines. A guy from Hiroshima founded a company called Toyo Cork in 1920. The company was producing a cork after they renamed the company and they switched to different productions as well. But in 1931 the company decided to start producing cars. The first cars were three-wheeled, based on motorcycles, but with a wagon on the back. It was more like a commercial vehicle, and the name of these vehicles was Mazda Go. Almost 30 years later, in 1960, the company Toyo produced the first passenger car, Mazda R360. In our previous video we mentioned about the very famous in Japan K cars. And this Mazda R360 was exactly K car or city car. These cars are very small by size and by engine displacements as well. On that time was very hard in Japan after the World War II. Actually not only in Japan, in many countries in the world as well. But in Japan was even harder, probably because Japan was part of the German side. So there were many restrictions. Anyway, very small cars just to make the people on the road. So guessing by the name, the first Mazda car the R360 was only 356cc capacity engine, rear mounted V2 cylinders and air cooled. Again this engine was derived from a motorcycle, very small car with two doors but four seats. So here is the very important moment. We said the first Mazda car was revealed in 1960 and on the same year the president of Mazda had a friend in Germany who told him about a new type of engine which eventually will be better than the normal engine. The prototype of this German engine was already existing and fitted into a car NSU, in Germany of course, and they first start to fit it into production cars. In the same year, Mazda and NSU make a deal to collaborate in the technology of this new type engine. Of course, as we said, NSU first start the production of this engine and fit it into cars, but they were very unreliable. Lots of problems, and in that moment is came Mazda. They improved the engine with new ideas, and now the 1K rotary engine was ready to go. This was already mid-1960s. The first Mazda with rotary engine was ready in 1967, the very famous sports coupe Mazda Cosmo 110S. And today this car is very collectible, very rare, so it's dream for many people. We said before how important for Japan were the K cars, first introduced after the World War II, so very small cars for everyone, very cheap, low taxes and few consumption, and the importance of the rotary 1K engine was exactly this. Was very small, light, low taxes, just a few consumption wasn't that great, Mazda never give up and they were still producing cars like Mazda RX-8 until 2012. Then they stop as well, but nowadays Mazda just patented a new version of the rotary engine and they will bring back this engine in some time. Now back to the model RX4, because this is a really great looking car, especially in this striking yellow color. Mazda RX4 was known in Japan as a loose. This was the official name for the domestic market. For some markets like in Europe was known as a 929 as well, but the most known name is RX4. We said before there are four door versions, the very famous two door coupe like the car in front of us, but as well was available four door estate. Front longitudinally mounted 1.2 liters for the very early models and later the legendary 1.3 liter 13B 1K engines. But for some markets was available normal engine 1.8 liter 4 cylinder in line, but we're not gonna talk about this engine now in this video. 4 or 5 speed manual transmissions were the most common, the automatic versions wasn't that popular and as we said before, probably was available only for the 4 door version. The coupe version is long just over 4 meters, is wide approximately 1.6 meter and is high 1.4 meters. The main markets for RX4 were the domestic, the Australian and the US market. For the US market of course the power was a bit down to 82 kilowatts or 110 horsepowers just because of the very strict US regulations. When new the price was 
approximately 4,300 US dollars for the base model. But then if you want some options, the price will go up of course. For example, the automatic gearbox was 270 US dollars, air conditioned 395 US dollars. So on the end, the price could go over 5,000 US dollars. We need to mention something very important. Mazda RX-4 is the car that made the rotary 1K engine extremely popular all over the world. Because the car was very beautiful in the mid 1970s and on top of that, the unique 1K engine, the car became a legend. Of course, later 1978, the Model RX-7 will make the rotary engine extremely, extremely popular and over the world. But everything starts from here, from the Mazda RX-3 and RX-4, like the car in front of us. This is not the first Mazda car with 1K engine, but is the first that make the brand Mazda very unique. Of course, with the Model RX-7, the engine was more refined, more reliable, still not that much. And the model became dream for many people. And today is very exotic. I had the chance to drive a Mazda RX-7, the very first generation, very original car. And I remember I was very impressed. Very light car. The sound of the rotary engine is just incredible and very unique, especially in high revs. And I remember the very cool steering wheel and alloy wheels. I guess the RX-4 has the same unique character. The experience with these cars is just phenomenal. For me, RX-4 has very distinctive design. The influential is from the American cars, especially with, with this very aggressive nose. All front side actually is very aggressive and ready to fight. Four round lights, lots of chrome and very curvy elements. This was typically for 1970s American style. On the back as well, four square lights, very American style as well. But not only Mazda, many of the sports Japanese 1970s cars being designed to look like Americans, but in smaller scale. After 1980s, they took their own way, and now the Japanese cars are very unique and distinctive. So guys, I hope you liked the video about this very beautiful 1970s rotary engine Mazda RX-4. If you like, please subscribe my channel, and see you next time, guys. Bye.